Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video we are going to draw a really cool lemon tree or at least a branch from a lemon tree in Procreate. So open up the app, create a new canvas and let's start drawing. We're going to start by roughly sketching where everything's going to be on the branch. And to do that just pick a dark color as well as a brush that you know you like sketching with. And you're just going to create a new layer keeping on the plus here. And this sketch is really just a general idea so it can be pretty quick. I like to start by sketching the branch really quickly and then kind of ovals for where my lemons are going to be and also adding some lines for the leaves just like that. One pro tip, make sure that you have leaves that overlap either of the leaves or the lemons. It's just going to look way better in the final piece and just more realistic and natural. Once you have your sketch, the next step is to actually create some sort of a color palette. And I don't know about you, but I'm not necessarily the best at creating color palettes just from thin air, but there's a really helpful tool in Procreate, and that's what we're going to use. So the only thing you have to do is to pick the color of your lemon. And honestly, if you draw another citrus, you could draw like a lime or orange, whatever. So pick the color of your citrus. In my case, I'm going to go with a bright yellow because I want a lemon. And if you stay in this color panel here, you see you have a bunch of tabs in the bottom. And if you click on Harmony, it's going to open up the color wheel. And the color wheel, without going into too much color theory, is basically just a um, like circle or rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> and there are different configurations where you can put points on that color wheel to make sure that the colors that are on these specific points are always going to look good together. And these configurations, you can access them by clicking on this little word here that is going to be below colors. And it should open up a panel with five options here. If we select complementary, it's going to give us the color that is the exact opposite that the one that you selected. In this case, for the background, in this case for the background, I'm probably going to select split complementary and just pick one of the two that's going to give me. And I'm just going to draw really quickly here on my sketch layer so I know I have this color here. I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow before I forget it. And I'm also going to pick a nice dark blue for the leaves. And this time I might actually use the complementary color here. and just add that to my color palette here. Now that this is done, we can add a colored background. And I'm just going to pick the lighter blue that I have here. And on the background color, if I go back to my history, it should be right there. So you can just click on it. And without shifting the first lighter here, which is the hue, you can shift the other two, which is the saturation in the middle and then the brightness on the bottom. For the background, I kind of like to lower both the saturation and the brightness to have something that is a bit more subdued. So now we're all set and we can actually start painting the piece. I like to start with the lemons. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to drag below the sketch layer here. And I'm going to go back to my history and select my yellow lemon color. And I'm going to use brushes from my brand new brush pack, which is the Ultimate Gouache Brush Set. And it is just for Procreate and also includes a pre-textured file that you can see here. If you want to check it out, I will link it in the description below along with a promo code just for you guys. But you can use any brush that you want. I just like having a realistic paint kind of feel uh, to my lemon tree. And these brush do a really good job at that. So anyway, if you have this brush pack, go ahead and select Soft Square. And you're just going to outline the lemons and fill them in really quickly. And you can also add some like pointy ends to your lemons. We're going to add a bit more texture and color variation in our lemons. And to do that, I'm just going to temporarily hide the sketch layer by clicking on the check mark here. And I'm going to activate alpha lock on the lemon layer. 
The way to do it is with the layer selected, you're just going to tap on it and click on alpha lock right here. And what it does basically is everything that you draw on this layer now is going to stay within the color that was already there when you activated alpha lock. So these yellow shapes here. I'm going to show you an example. So I'm going to start by adding some shadows. And to do that, I'm going to go back to my classic option here. I'm just going to pick a slightly darker yellow, maybe a bit more orange as well. And with the same brush that I had, I'm just going to add like a half moon shape on one side of the lemon. And I'm also going to add some lights, this time picking a nice bright yellow. And I might change the brush this time, I might use the dry brush here. And just paint some really rough light spots on the lemon. We can also add a few dots to kind of mimic the texture of the lemon skin. So I'm going to go back to a dark burnt orange or yellow. And this time I'm going to use maybe the clean round. I'm just going to zoom in and add a few little spots. Not too much, and I'm mostly going to stay on the side where the shadow is. We're now going to paint the leaves using a very similar technique. So create a new layer, and we're going to activate the sketch layer again, just so we know what we're doing. And we're going to pick the secondary color that we had here in our color palette. And I might actually, again, lower the saturation as well as the brightness on this one. And test it out. Yeah, that's good. I'm using the soft round for this. And all you have to do is, woo. <laughs> all you have to do is to fill in the leaves as well as the main stem. I also really like leaving some leaves just with the outlines, kind of like this. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can fill in all your leaves as well as the branch. And we're going to meet at the next step, which is going to be adding even more details to the leaves. Now that your leaves are filled in, we can hide the sketch layer so we can actually see what the artwork looks like. We're going to add some more details to the piece. And you might notice that you missed a few parts. For example, I noticed that I didn't connect this lemon to the branch, so I'm just going to quickly do that. And to add the details, we're going to activate alpha lock on the leaf layer as well. So I'll just click on it. And we're going to set the same color that we use for the leaf to a bit darker. Well, actually fairly darker and a bit less saturated. And we're going to use the same brush, so the soft round, just a bit smaller this time. And all we're going to do is we're going to draw a line to split the leaf in half. It's too small, actually. So yeah, draw a line to split the leaf in half. And you might want to tweak the color a little bit as you go. And you're going to add a diagonal veins on both sides of that line. And you're just going to do this on the leaves that are filled. You're not going to do it on the outlines leaf like this. It just wouldn't look as good. At least in my opinion, but feel free to prove me wrong. <laughs> and you can also kind of outline just the bottom part of your branch here and add some inner lines to kind of give the idea of some sort of a wood texture. We are almost done. I also like to add a few flowers just because they make the entire piece completely pop. So go ahead and pick a really bright yellow, almost white, and create a new layer on top of your branches and your lemons. And you can pick for this, um, I'm gonna stick with the soft round actually. <laughs> and you're going to draw flowers with uh, five petals. One, two, three, four, five. And you can also draw some flowers that you would see from the side, so that would have 
like only four petals like this, as well as just kind of little buds, so flowers that are not bloomed yet, which are just simply like ellipse like this. Or even buds that are kind of starting to bloom, so just three really close ellipses. So just go ahead and sprinkle them around your branch. Once you're happy with the result, we're going to pick the yellow that we use and we're going to draw just a little center for the flowers that are fully open. We're also going to connect the flowers to the branch. For that, I'm going to use the same color as the leaf and the main branch and just connect them to the main branch. Last but not least, I'm going to add some shadows that would be cast by the leaves and the flower onto the lemon. And you're gonna see that's gonna make your piece just fully come to life. So you're going to come back to your lemon layer here and you're going to select your bright yellow and this time we're going to make it fairly more orange and just a little bit darker. And we're going to use the dry brush here and for this you have to visualize where the light source is in your piece. So the light source is always going to come the opposite side of the shadows. So in our case it's going to be the light is going to be coming from here and hitting here. So this leaf would be casting a shadow on the lemon like this. So I'm just going to draw a shadow that would be cast by the leaf on the lemon like this. I'm going to do the same thing here and maybe even this leaf would cast a shadow on the lemon here and the flower certainly would. And you might have to train your eye a little bit to know where the shadows would be casted. But if you're struggling a little bit, I recommend I create a new layer and kind of pick a really bright color and just literally draw an arrow of where the light is hitting or the direction of the light. So in our case, we said it was this one because it is the opposite of where the shadows are. And you can even move the arrow and put it, for example, in front of the branch. Well, I'm going to move the layer. But you can put it in front of the, the branch or the flower and see... Oh, okay. So this flower is going to cast a shadow here on the lemon. So that's a trick if you're just new drawing. You might want to do that and kind of move it around and see how the light is affecting everything. So there you have it. That was how to paint a lemon tree or at least a branch from a lemon tree in Procreate. And if you want to check out the brushes that I used, I will link them in the description below, again, along with a promo code. And I would love to see what you guys create, so make sure to share with me either on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And if you did find this tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you have an idea for a tutorial you would like to see, comment below. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every week.